pull me over for? Your exhaust. It's not against the law. What was that? It's not against the law. Yeah, it is. How do you know? What? How do you know? How do I know? Because it's my job to know. What other modifications have you done to your vehicle? That's none of your business. It's not my business? No. You sure? Yeah. Okay. Is this your car? No, it's not. It's Alright then. It's none of your business. Just give me my ticket. No, you want to give me a ticket? Under your hood. You want to give me a ticket? Give me a ticket. I'm going to, but I'm also going to look under your hood. <laughs> so, I'll pop it. You get I'll... out, you're going to pop the hood, and then we'll be done with it. Refuse, I'll pop it, you can. Huh? Said if you refuse, you're going to go to jail. Hello, and welcome back to Legal Descent, where we evaluate your constitutional rights before they're taken away. As always, if you enjoy our content, please consider subscribing, liking this video, and interacting with us in the comments below. It really does help us out a lot in the YouTube algorithm. A subscriber submitted this video from the channel to Larry County Cop Watch and wanted to know the legality of an officer searching under the hood of a car, particularly in a situation where the individual has been stopped for allegedly having a modified muffler that violated California law. The links to the original channel, videos, case law, and statutes are located in the description below. Feel free to visit to Larry County Cop Watch and let them know that Legal Descent sent you. The officer that conducts the stop is Marissa Burkdahl of the Bazalia Police Department. Burkdahl was the same individual that Tulare County Cop Watch released a video of body cam footage that displayed her and K-9 officer William Hansen brutally subduing and ordering a police dog to bite an individual eight times. That individual, Mr. Rubio, was a disabled man and he is currently represented by an attorney in his federal lawsuit against the city and officers Burkdahl and Hansen. Unfortunately, on July 19th, about a week ago, in the United States District Court for the Eastern District of California, Mr. Rubio was denied relief due to jurisdiction and timely filing issues. There might still be an avenue for relief for Mr. Rubio in that case, so we'll keep our eye on it and hopefully have good news to report in the future. So, Officer Burkdahl is no stranger to confrontations that seem to put citizens in harm's way, and she stops to Larry County Cop Watch for allegedly having a modified exhaust. What'd you pull me over for? Huh? What'd you pull me over for? Your exhaust. It's not against the law. What was that? It's not against the law. Yeah, it is. How do you know? What? How do you know? How do I know? Because it's my job to know. Burkdahl. Do you have your driver's license? Burkdahl. How do you know if it's against the law if it's loud? Do you have your driver's license? How do you know? Any modified exhaust or anything that's excessively loud is against the law. No, it's not. Yes, it is. When I got it done, they said it's right before illegal. Who said that was shop? Huh? So who, who said, said that what? was shop? Who said what? Who said that was shop? Who told shop? you that? Oh, they don't make the, the law. law. They're just going to take your money. Do you have your driver's license? Yeah, I do. Huh? Yeah, I do. Alright. Hand it over to me, please, and then the registration and insurance. California law provides in Division 12, Chapter 5, Article 2, Section 27,150, Subsection A, that every motor vehicle shall at all times be equipped with an adequate muffler in constant operation and properly maintained to prevent excessive or unusual noise. And no muffler or exhaust system shall be equipped with a cutout, bypass, or similar device. California is significantly more strict on these types of laws than almost any other state in the country. The first issue that presents itself to me is the phrase, prevent excessive or unusual noise. It seems vague, and who is to say what decibel level would be considered excessive or unusual? The California Court of Appeals analyzed this very issue in Smith v. Peterson back in 1955, where they held that motor vehicles have been used for so long and have become so common, and mufflers so uniformly used to minimize the noise from their exhaust, that what is usual has become a matter of common knowledge. And anything in excess of that is excessive and unusual, and usually capable of ascertainment as such. Now, it is important to note that the technology to measure decibel levels outside of a laboratory was not readily available until 1962, which was seven years after this case was decided. 
However, California addressed this issue later by stating in section 27,151 subsection B that the exhaust must be at a sound level of 95 decibels or less. To give you a frame of reference, Purdue University found that the use of a jackhammer created a sound equal to 100 decibels. So, are officers required to carry equipment to get an accurate decibel reading to pull someone over for allegedly violating the statute? No. The California Court of Appeals held in California versus Huntsbury that an officer who testified that he was familiar with a type of car and the sound its stock muffler would make, and based on that familiarity, suspected the exhaust had been modified in an unlawful fashion, was good enough stating that officers are not required to carry scientific equipment in order to investigate ordinary traffic violations. In this case, the sound was loud enough to attract the deputy's attention, and whether or not the deputy knew the decibel output of the exhaust is irrelevant, and even if the deputy was mistaken, the court found his conduct reasonable. So, in the state of California, if an officer thinks that your muffler is too loud or has been unlawfully modified, they are allowed to pull you over. (laughs) What other modifications have you done to your vehicles? That's none of your business. None of my business? No. You sure? Yeah. Okay. Is this your car? No, it's not. It's your All right, car. then. It's none of your business. So, I'm going to inspect underneath your hood. I need you to step out and pop the hood for me. For what? Because I'm going to inspect it, see if you have any modifications. I don't have to do that. Yes, you actually do. Just give me my ticket. No, you want to give me a ticket? Under your hood. You want to give me a ticket? Give me a ticket. I'm going to, but I'm also going to look under your hood. <laughs> so, I'll pop it. You get I'll... out, you're going to pop the hood, and then we'll be done with it. Your I'll pop it, and you can. Huh? Said if you refuse, you're gonna go to jail. <laughs> Fuck, cause you're a joke. You're just mad on. Is that made you YouTube famous? California Vehicle Code Section 20804 allows a member of the California Highway Patrol, upon reasonable belief that any vehicle is being operated in violation of any provisions of this code or is in such unsafe condition as to endanger any person, may require the driver of the vehicle to stop and submit to an inspection of the vehicle and its equipment, license plates, and registration card. First, does this statute only apply to California Highway Patrol members? No. The California Court of Appeals held in People v. Cacciapo that there is no authority that precludes a city police officer from having the same authority to make a similar investigation under the statute. Second, what is reasonable belief of a code violation? Like we mentioned earlier, it appears that the courts in California would believe the officer and would most likely find that she acted reasonably in pulling over the driver for the allegedly loud muffler. Therefore, she would have reasonable belief that the vehicle is being operated in violation of a code. So finally, what does an inspection of the vehicle and its equipment entitle her to search? Does it include the trunk, the passenger compartment, the engine under the hood? This is where the gray area begins and legal arguments thrive. The California Appellate Court held in People v. May that a vehicle owner has a reasonable expectation of privacy in the trunk of their car. However, the reasonableness of a criminal investigation looking to unearth contraband is different than the reasonableness associated with the vehicle code to ascertain the mechanical condition of the car. For example... If the observed defect were a broken taillight reflector, a trunk search would not be justified. So in this case, where the officer only has reasonable suspicion that the driver is operating with a loud muffler, then she has no reason to search his car under the hood or anywhere other than where the muffler is making noise. Therefore, her demand that he allow her to search under the hood of his car upon threat of arrest is completely wrong and opens herself and the police department to liability for yet another lawsuit against this aggressive officer who has no business wielding a gun and a badge. The driver has a really long conversation with the backup officers, and in my opinion, he talks way too much to them as Berkdahl goes back to process the ticket for the muffler. 
All right, Anthony, make sure you keep your driver's license with you when you're driving, all right? You don't have to front plate for your vehicle. I got one. What? I got one. Where is it? It's in my back seat. It's in your back seat? It's got to be affixed to the vehicle. Yeah. So, correct that. I need you to sign right there in the gray box. It's automated to guilt. So, I promise to appear and take care of the ticket. Thank you, hero. They're hungry? What? In the gray box. Okay. Yep. Oh, the same thing. <laughs> you guys like the beef or vendetta mask back there. Really? Yeah. You're not supposed to be looking at that. There you go, Berto. You're not supposed to be looking at this way. It's plain sight. I don't even know why you're still in the forest. You're dangerous. Yeah? Okay. Hell yeah. Surprised you're going to pull me out and beat my ass. How would I do that? Why'd you do that to the other dude? It's a window. <laughs> no comment. You Just because you felt like it. So I can see you better. Same thing. <laughs> 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 you guys are you guys are yeah, you're dismissed. Tulare County Cop Watch ends up of a ticket, but was able to make Berkdahl feel a little uncomfortable with the questions. Like I mentioned at the beginning of the video, we'll continue to monitor the lawsuit against her, the canine officer, and the police department on behalf of Mr. Rubio. What do you think? Should officers be able to use their experience to determine if a muffler is too loud or not? Are they qualified to make roadside inspections to determine the safety of your vehicle? Let us know in the comments below. And remember that no matter who you are, you have value and you have rights. Do not be afraid to use them and we'll see you next time right here on Legal Descent.